Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. My name's Laura. This is Jewelry, etc. I kind of just threw this show together today. I, <laughs> I'm not really prepared. So I decided, you know what, let's just do an unboxing. Um, I wanted to get like a pre-recorded video up earlier in the week, and I just did not have a time time to do that. I've been so busy. May has just been so dang busy. And I it shows no shows no signs of stopping. So uh yeah, we're just gonna go with an unboxing. Although I did want to show a few things that I picked up recently from an estate sale and from a yard sale. Um yeah, I'm just gonna show like a couple things and put prices on them. Um if you're new here, welcome. I'd love it if you'd consider subscribing and uh, hit the thumbs up on the video too. That'd be really cool. Um, to purchase, ooh, let me get my, get this little note up in the chat, pin it to the chat of how to buy anything. Uh, basically, I just need you to email me, whoops, email me your, good morning, Gail, or you're right, it is afternoon now. Good afternoon, Gail. <laughs> um, I need your, uh, what is this thing called? YouTube, your YouTube name, your uh, PayPal email. And then what the item you, it is you want. I invoice through PayPal and I ship through PayPal. I've found that that is the exact same price for me as pirate ship has been. So I just use it because it's easier. So if you uh, buy something through PayPal, good grief, I'm so tongue twisted for the norm. Um, just make sure your shipping address is correct. Everything is $5 flat in the U.S. Outside of the U.S., it's calculated. So if you're outside of the U.S., let me know that so that we can calculate your shipping accurately so I don't have to invoice you twice. And yeah, that's it. I have a new fish. He's actually, I don't know if you can see him from this view, but he's right there, that little silver sliver. He's trying to get, good, good afternoon, <laughs> Beth. I keep saying it wrong. Not good morning. His face is like crammed down in between two rocks. He's trying to get a little piece of food that fell down there. And he's determined. So he'll be swimming around in a second. Elizabeth, hello, hello. It's a relaxing Sunday. I, yeah, it's, it's been pretty chill, but I really need to clean. So man, he's, I'm just watching the fish. His name is Skeet, by the way. It's just kind of stuck. It was his temporary name, but that's what he's known as in the house now. You can see him. You can see him moving, I'm sure. Yeah. Anywho. Okay. Hey, bad bad. Welcome. So I'm going to show just a couple pieces. Uh, if you're live, claim whatever you want in the chat. If you're watching this on replay, make sure you email me. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Put that in the chat to register. If you uh, comment that you want something, that's fine, but it, you have to have purchased from me in the past. To register, email jewelry, etc, channel gmail.com and again shipping is five dollars flat i'm holding a couple people's packages say that five times fast i think i'm just gonna get one more week on those and then send them out so if you're if you've got a package held with me just realize that i'm gonna send it out soon okay cool let's do it let's do it okay i'm gonna so this is the box from picky nikki listen y'all i've got this i've got another box on the floor from Misty. I have the Goodwill box that we started opening and then I didn't finish it because I don't know. I just wasn't too like thrilled with anything I got out of it. So I've been procrastinating on opening that one more. I just don't care. I'd much rather open the boxes from Picky Nick and from Misty's treasure chest because that sounds more fun to me. Cause I know they're going to send me some stuff that's exciting. You know what I mean? Goodwill is kind of like eh, maybe. And so far, not really. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start opening this box, and then I'm going to show you before we get into this just a couple of things and price a couple of things that I got before I stick them on eBay that I got at yard sales and estate sales. So bear with me one hot second while I open this bad boy. He's still trying to get that piece of food. Well, kind of. Also, the tank. I'll show you really quick. Oh, there it goes. The tank is like... It looks like a complete disaster right now, but I put live plants in it. I want everything in the tank to be like natural. So we've got a bunch of live plants in there. There's some, I don't even remember what that plant's called. I don't know. Anubias are those small ones. There's some pathos stuck out the top. And then I got some floating plants in there. And then I've got some that are like, I just put in the tank. So the sticks haven't like 
waterlogged yet so they're floating that one I, I actually kind of wedged it in there that one's trying to float on me too but tank setup is a is a process i don't know if you guys knew the whole story of the tank but i got it for free from facebook marketplace and uh, that was very exciting um it they like this tank this tank with the filter and it just comes with the filter there's a light built in but i got a new light so that i could See, for my plants. That tank is a $70 tank from PetSmart. Sold only at PetSmart, 70 bucks. I got it for free with like a boatload of accessories. So I'm pretty jazzed about it. And Skeet is very, very jazzed that he doesn't live in a, you know, two cup sized cup anymore. I don't even know if there's two cups in there, honestly. It's probably like a cup and a half tops. Anyhow. If you guys are fish lovers, tell me about your fish. Oh, let me put this on live chat. Make sure on your, you're on live chat. Friendly reminder. Hit the thumbs up if you don't mind. Friendly reminder. If you feel like chatting, let me know what you're doing today. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness, she like individually wrapped everything. Uh, Nikki, that's awesome, look. Wow, okay, this is gonna be good. All right, before we dig into that though, let me just show you a couple items that I wanted to share because I thought they're pretty. This is not jewelry, but this really lovely beaded purse. This is actually like a white. It's kind of coming off off-white, but they're white beads. Can I shine this on it? Patty Paws, welcome. His name's Beta, Beta Boo. Beta Boo, ain't no one say anything different. It's kind of flashy because uh, this is an LED light, but these are that's the actual colors of it. It is gorgeous. This, I'm just gonna ask, uh, we'll do 15 on this if anybody wants it. There's some condition issues on the inside, which I'll show you in a second. But it is a beautiful little vintage beaded purse. Let me show you the back too. The beads look like they're all there in a decent shape though. I don't see any threads hanging off of this thing or anything like that. I just thought it was cute. Summers, where the heck have you been? How are you? Oh, seriously? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Aww. I'm really sorry for your loss. You're actually the second person to tell me that they knew a Skeeter though. Okay, so this, I guess there's a little handle here. There's a kiss lock. The metal is a little aged. Um, and then on the inside we have Saks, what does it say? Made in England exclusively for Saks Fifth Avenue. It is a little stained there and there. And then it looks like there might be like a pen mark or something at the very bottom of it. I don't know. You can't really tell. It's not too bad. It's really not. Any of this one's 15. Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to set that back there in case anybody sees it and likes it. Okay, sorry. Um, yes, everyone's sending their prayers and love. I know. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be so devastated if I ever lose my brother. That's going to be a very, very bad day. So I'm really, really sorry. Losing a sibling has got to be rough. Okay, so this one, I love this. I love this. Check this out. So this is like a, I'm not kind of scoot up on a weird angle here. This is all glass. It's unnamed or unmarked, unfortunately. But it's in decent condition. There's some, let me get this on here. There's some wear of the metal in the links like here where they're let's see if I can show it to you. Camera wants to focus on the fish, which is fine. Da, da, da. But it's gold tone. These are just so gorgeous. This is gorgeous. We okay, hold on. We're gonna show it. I just, you know, there we go. All right, so in between the links there's a little bit of tone damage, but I'll do $15 on this one as well. But these are glass and this thing is so so pretty. I kind of want to wear this one. It's got a long extender on it too. It's like the hook style extender on that one. Oh, hang out, stay a while, get distracted by pretty things. No obligation to buy this channel ever. I just like hanging out with people that are enthusiastic about jewelry because that's not a thing I have in my real life. No one really, my mother-in-law to a degree. All right, this is 20 inches like at the longest on that one. 
to a degree she's into jewelry, but um, she doesn't geek out on it the way I do. I don't know anybody who really likes jewelry as much as I do, except for you guys. So I'm really happy that you, you know, can share this joy with me. There's more of the true color when I hold it at that angle. We get a little better lighting on it. i grab this too. Uh, yeah, it's pretty accurate. They're faceted. It's all faceted glass, but it's just gorgeous. All right, so that one's going to go sit there. And then this guy, I love this necklace. I'll do this 60 here. I'm going to put it on eBay for 65. Look how long this is. So this is all prenite or preanite, depending on who you ask. It's like an apple green stone. These are all giant faceted versions of it. And then there's inclusions of tourmaline inside of it. And it actually looks like a dark green tourmaline. And it is sterling. All of it is sterling. So all the chain in between is sterling. The clasp is sterling. The chain is sterling. So this one's going to be 60. It's very, very, very long. And then all these beads on it. Look how pretty that is backlit. All those beads are glass. So we have some faceted glass that's kind of like the color of a peridot. And then we have these, which are like a green pearl. Oh, Somers, are you call, claiming the uh, the necklace or the purse? I think they're both 15. So let me know. I'm, I think you want the necklace, but just verify for me if you don't mind. And thank you. Thank you for claiming. This is glass too. It's like a freeform pearl looking shape and it is also green, but it is, that's a, that's a glass pearl. So glass sterling, preanite. And just in case you guys are wondering why this is so awesome. So this over here, this is a natural, I just wanted to show you, this isn't for sale, but this is my preanite or prenite, uh, actual natural stone. So just think about like, this is how it comes. Think about the fact that to facet these and have it so gemmy, like how big of a piece of this you'd have to get that's that clear to get all these pieces out of it. It's so cool. So this one's got the, it's got a black tourmaline at the bottom. You can't see it too well. It's kind of dim over here. I'm going to need to get my light. But anywho, I just wanted to show you these. That one's 65 for the sterling stone and glass necklace. We'll just leave that there. And it's super long. Hey, Lexi. Ooh, from South Texas. So I can still say good morning to you. Good morning. Yes. Awesome. Fellow jewelry lover. Welcome. Picky Nikki. You must have seen your name in the title. Welcome. I'm excited because yeah. So the deal with the Picky Nikki box. Oh, let me grab this one for Somers. Thank you so much. Okay. The thing with the Picky Nikki box, I started buying a couple things of jewelry from her during a sale. Oh, where's my, sorry. I didn't get my uh, little notebook out that I like to use to record my sales. Um, whoops, and I turned my scale on, my bad. And I said, you know what, can you just round up my total and just send me like a mystery lot of stuff? And she says, sure, no problem. So um, there's a couple things in here, I think, and I, I'm gonna be totally honest. I ha there we go, brunch. Happy brunch, everybody. <laughs> Good brunch. How do you turn that into a greeting though? Good brunch. Um, I don't remember the original things I claimed. Like, I don't remember what I bought first. So I'm excited. <laughs> it's going to be like mini Christmas. Uh, three summers for the glass, blue glass necklace. I thought that one was so gorgeous. That's one that's like subject to me keeping if I had tried it on, but I never did. I, like, sometimes I just got to keep things off of my neck. You know what I mean? Okay. So maybe we'll start with a couple things up here. I need to keep my scissors handy. It looks like these are well secured, shall we say. If you want anything, tell me in the chat. Um, I'll just price things as I go, unless it's something that I feel like I need to look up. These are going to be shoot from the hip um, pricing, so subject to change. Hey, Carol, welcome in. Yes, I. it is really pretty. And there's like, did you see there's like squirrels in there? These are probably lampwork beads and then they faceted them. Whoa, what the heck just happened to my computer? Let me see if I can show you. Okay, there we go. See what I'm saying? They're like, it's like 
glass swirlies within glass. And then they probably made the beads and then they faceted them on a faceting machine. It's like a, a table that's flat and spins. It's textured and they like hold. That's how you facet glass. You can facet it in different ways, but that's that's how I've seen it done anyway. Okay. Gorgeous. So gorgeous was the day we met. I couldn't speak except to say how gorgeous that I thought you were to me. I haven't heard thought of that song in freaking forever. This has been like the weekend of nostalgia. I went to somewhere. Where was I yesterday? I went to a Mexican restaurant, Chewy's. We'll put quotes around Mexican. It was an authentic Mexican. The place is pretty, it's like American Mexican, but oh my gosh. Okay. All right, here we go. Um, and they were playing this like 90s soundtrack. Oh my gosh. I heard all these sounds. Look at these. They look like uh, peacock pearls, like freeform peacock pearls. Oh, this is exciting already. Any case, they had all, I can't even think for the life of me, any of the songs, but I was singing all of them. All right, so the, ooh, they're knotted in between. Look, I'm already super jazzed about this, you guys. If you like what you see here, Picky Nikki's in the chat. You guys can all, you know what, let me put, let me get your, get your, uh, what you do in here. Um, I'm sure she would be happy to put something together for you as well. If not, you can say that. <laughs> you could say it in the chat right now if I'm wrong. Um, let me get her channel in here. And she does sales with uh, Ella, which I think is where, which is save here first. I think that's where I got this from. Wasn't it, Nikki? Weren't you doing a, you were doing a sale with her, weren't you? Okay, hold on. Paste. Okay, there we go. Go subscribe to Picky Nikki. There's her channel right there. Dirt Road Memories. Welcome in Geneva. Happy brunch. <laughs> okay, so this one is, I probably confused the crap out of people coming into my chat. They're just like, what the heck is she talking about? Because they weren't here five minutes earlier and I'm already referencing things that no one's going to understand unless you're here five minutes ago. This one is 18 inches. Oh, this is so stinking pretty. Look at this clasp. It's like a tension clasp. So you just pinch it here, bam. Oh, it's like a fish hook, but tension. Oh, I like that. So you have to hook it over first so it's extra secure. That's brilliant. Okay, I dig that. That's gorgeous. That's super pretty. 18 inches, let me look at it a little closely. Dang, that's gorgeous. That's really pretty. Let's do tw Ooh, twelve dollars on that one. If anybody wants the, they're like a peacock pro. Let me get the light on this one too. It's driving me crazy that my light is so dull on the camera because it's pretty bright in person. So there's your a better part. And the other thing too is look at this light. All it's doing is making everything all flashy crazy. Let me get my cell phone light and see if that helps. <clears throat> that LED one is like not compatible. <laughs> No, that doesn't look good either. They just look black. They have an iridescence to them. Oh, but you guys have seen Peacock Pearls, I'm sure. I'm sure you know what we're going with. That one especially is a little green. That's cool. They're iridescent and beautiful. That's gorgeous. Oh, man. That reminds me of one I regretted selling. And now I'm like, maybe I should keep that one then. Okay. Next. Okay, so we have a chain. I like chains because I get pendants a lot and don't know what to put them on. Is that Monet? Avon? Monet. Y'all, Monet, gold. I swear, I've never seen a bad piece of Monet when I get it. The gold is always in perfect condition. I'm going to hang on to this chain and try to find a pendant to go with it. So he's going to just hang out to the side for now. <clears throat> okay, so while I have y'all's attention, kind of sort of. All right, we got 16 people, not too shabby, but only five thumbs up, kind of shabby. If y'all don't mind hitting, I'd appreciate it. Ooh, is this 1928? No, no, it's not. Oh, it's an Avon. What? I would not have guessed that. Wow, that is gorgeous for Avon. I've never seen a piece like that from Avon. I've seen them do gemstones before, but not like this. This reminds me of the 18, 1928, 1928, 1928. 
Okay, I'm trying to clink them together. I can't tell if it's glass or plastic. I legit can't tell. I think it's plastic. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's really pretty. Wow, look at that. Avon, y'all. That's a really pretty, you know, I might need, hold on. Also, check out the score I got from the yard sale this weekend. Isn't that cool? That's actually a real butterfly. A real dipped gold gilted butterfly. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do him, with him yet, but I'm going to keep him for now. This is the necklace I made. Still for sale. If anybody's interested, I'm going to set him for aside for now, though, so we can look at this guy on there and how he hangs. Oh, that's pretty. So this has a bunch of tones of blue. I wish this light wasn't so ugly. Hey, babe. Babe. I'm going to see if he can bring me another flashlight if he hears me, but he might not even, he might be in the basement cleaning. Okay. Anywho, blah, blah, blah. Let's do nine bucks on this one. Nine bucks on the Avon. Let me try one more time with my phone again, just to see if I can get a better glimpse of the colors on there for you. Why is it so dang yellow? This is driving me bananas. Does it look really yellow on y'all's screen? All right. One more, one more thing. Let me get my, um, my light over here. Let me make some space. I'm going to get the ring light and see if that doesn't fix my problem because that's crazy. It's so yellow. I don't know if it's like trying to adjust to the situation I've got going on with the fish tank in the background and it's mad. I don't know. I know isn't it pretty. Okay. Monet means money. <laughs> I mean, sure. Why not? Whoops. Oh, I just hit my fan. My bad. I hit my lights. Okay. Let me see if this helps. Hold on. It's not plugged in. <clears throat> I guess that's a no. Okay. I'm staring there. Do, 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 do. Oh, no. What is it? I was there when they would stare at you just like the light had fallen from the sun. Okay. There you go. Kind of sort of. All right. Maybe we get it a little. Yeah. Yeah, that one's not so bad. Turn down a, a touch. All right, I'm doing my best, y'all. <laughs> I just feel like it looks the same as it did earlier. I don't know about this ring light. Sometimes it's great and sometimes I just feel like it washes stuff out. Okay, all right, we spent enough time on him, I'm sorry. All right, so that one's nine. Gorgeous. All right, what else we got? We got that was, okay, three. Next. Ooh. Brighter is better. Does it, is it, well, we'll try another one. I don't want to wash it out either. And can we hear the music? I feel like the music got really quiet too. Everyone was anticipating the reveal. All right, we have this, ooh, look at this guy. Nice long chain. This one's also tagged. Chicas. Hey, Chicas. Look how long that is. Wowzers. That thing is super duper long. Nice extension on it. It's pretty lightweight. That's pretty. Let's do $5 on that one. This is all silver. Look at that. It is in pristine condition. It looks like super shiny. It's just one necklace. It's super duper long. Yeah, don't mind my thumbtack. That's that's a tactical thumbtack. He's there for a reason. All right, cool. Look how long, man. That thing is pretty sweet. And look at the lobster claw clasp is so big. You could basically hook it on anywhere you wanted to. 
So you could loop it, loop it around twice and then just hook that where you needed it. Pretty nice. Oh, Summers wants that one too. It is all yours, my dear. <clears throat> Let me get that in your bag. Thank you. Okay. Next up. We've got, is this Sterling? Nikki, you spoiled me, girl. We've got a silver bracelet, Sterling silver bracelet. Ooh, just threw it at myself. Nice. Man, these things are like super duper smooth. All silver. And I think she tests... I think she tests her sterling too. This one's marked in FAS 925 Italy. And the same on the reverse. We'll do 10 on that. Let me get a measurement for it though. Okay. This one is, drum roll please. Ooh, that's a nice one. It's seven and seven and a half maybe once it's latched it's a hair smaller oh no i'm sorry seven and a quarter seven and a quarter i lied maybe a hair smaller once latched but we'll do 10 on that for now gail wants it you got it thank you that one's pretty and just to show you let me put it on my wrist really quick just so you can see it's got you know it's wide Nice. Check out my bracelet. Isn't that sweet? That came up from a lot of bracelets I got too. Those will be come. I'm trying. Well, I haven't done it yet, but my goal is to make a stone and sterling video coming up here. And the, the other bracelets from that lot will be in that video. Call this one the ball chain bracelet. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Gail. Appreciate it. All right. Next up, we've got, oh, look at this cute butterfly. Is this, no. Is this what I think it is? Hold the phone. Probably not. I'm thinking of uh, Off Park, but they do. Their jewelry is pretty big. Is this a freaking brooch? Oh, it's a brooch. Okay, hold on. There's a... Oh, no, that's not a signature. Okay. We've got a brooch that doubles as a pendant. This cute little butterfly. And look, the metal is pink. So it's like a pink uh, coated metal. And then we've got its friend here. Oh, let me show it this way. Oh man, these look so much better in person. This camera just is washing it out and making it like high contrast, you know what I mean? But those are cute. Now what, I guess this is an anklet? Could be an anklet? Now the, okay, here's the deal. Oh no, or do you wear it like that? Okay, that makes it so much more sense. So you would put both of them on. So you could do it like, you know, like as a sweater clip if you wanted to, or just like as a detail across the top of your sweater. You could remove these from here if you wanted to, and then, you know, do it that way. That is so dang cute. So they're both, let me check the, yeah, they got good, they got good clasps on them. Nice and tight, just silver tone. That's adorable. Let's do, I'm trying to, it's hard for me to hold them. Let's do, uh, I don't know. We'll say six bucks on the butterfly pair. Six dollars if anybody wants those. Oh, they are so sparkly. I wish you could see the see those. So six dollars for butterfly. I might just kind of post these in here. In the background while we keep unboxing stuff. Oh, no, no, I won't. I'll put them in Slammer's bag. <laughs> You got it. That's so stinking cute. Thank you. Oh, it kind of makes me happy 
that you got those butterflies this might be tragic but butterflies remind me of people that have passed because when my grandmother died um, I was I started seeing a bunch of butterflies I don't know if that was just because I was tuning into them you know what I mean I uh, I don't know what to call this a uh, brooch chis I guess it's plural. It's kind of technically one, but technically not. Yeah, they do. It's like, yeah, you could totally use that as a sweater clip. I'm attached to the sweater clip I got only because it was the first one I found in a lot. It's like not even that cute, but I can't bring myself to get rid of it <laughs> because it was the first one I found. I'm going to have to. Like this pendant over here, I'll probably never wear it, but this has been on my bucket list of finding a faux sapphire star faux star sapphire specifically and i found that one this little pendant and i just i can't bring myself to sell it it's not quite the one i've been wanting to find that's close enough like i want to find i think this is a ceramic one i want to find a glass one though anyhow all right we've got a brooch oh my gosh i'm keeping this sorry guys look at him he's so stinking cute He's going to my brooch collection. I want to do like a lampshade of brooches. Oh, he could be a pendant too. Maybe there'll be another one. You never know. But this guy's mine. I'm keeping him. Adorbs. I need to get a trash bag up in here. Okay, next. All right, let me get the next, the next batch. Let's scoot this guy back. Yeah, that is that is adorable. Okay. What you doing back there, Skeet? He, he swam all around the tank. He swam around and now he's coming back. Now he's still trying to get that piece of food that fell down there. It's like, dang it, I will get you. I'm about to vacuum it out so it doesn't tempt him. Little oh, hungry fishy. He's a pretty fish though. I'm, I'm so glad I got a fish again. I missed having one. Alrighty, here we go. Next round. I'm gonna move Mr. Chameleon over there. Ooh, we got a probably glass, but it looks like amethyst. Let's see. Didn't mean to bump that. This says, I think it says Avon. Yeah, it says Avon on the back. Oops. That's pretty. Now, see, this is more of like the Avon I've seen before. That other one was different. That guy down there. Unusual. That's pretty. So it's like an amethyst purple. It's like a little road light on the screen, but in person it looks like an amethyst. It has white. Nice chain. Also marked Avon on the chain. Let's do six on this one. This is a nice... The chain is actually really quite nice. I think this is a Singapore chain it's like twisted like a you know just for that chain probably that price is pretty good it's in great shape this thing is in pristine shape y'all this is a nice chain 18 inches on the drop on that one or on the length gorgeous okay put that one down there Okay, we're gonna we're gonna need you to rewrite what you wrote. When my do you mean when my daddy passed, you saw butterflies flying around? That's cool. I don't really have a moment like that when my when my uh, when my dad died, but when my grandmother died. Now this is my other grandmother. The butterflies was with the first grandmother. The second grandmother. I saw in the woods, oh look, Pinky Promise. I saw an albino squirrel, which like squirrels were her thing. Now, how crazy is that? She um, used to, oh, it's all the same on both sides, cool. Let's just do five on this. This is just a silver tone, Pinky Promise. That's so cute, that'd be cute little momentum to give to a friend. That's adorable. Let me do measurement on this one too. 
So she used to, and she lived in Virginia, Northern Virginia, like close to DC and they had black squirrels. Okay. It's all, do you want a measurement Somers? Oh, it's got a name. It's got a something on it. Oh, it's 10 carat. No, 18 carat plated. It says. So I guess this must be white gold plated. At least the chain says that. A uh, rolled gold. Well, that's pretty cool. Nice score for you. This one is 20 at the... You can get it up to like a 19 and a half or 20. Yeah, somewhere in between there. Awesome. Oh, love that. Very cool. Whoops. Pinky promise. Anywho, so she, they had these black squirrels around there. The funny thing about the squirrels is that we didn't have those growing up. We only lived 40 minutes away and we only had gray squirrels in our neighborhood. Now they've migrated down. So now like my mom's got black squirrels in the neighborhood now, which is just so weird to me. Cause like, it's just crazy how that works. But in any case, so she used to feed them peanuts. They would come right up to her front porch and sit on the porch and wait for her to feed them peanuts. And like, I don't know. I always thought she was kind of like a, I guess you could say mean, you know, she was like a take no S kind of woman. And to see her be so soft with these little squirrels and give them peanuts was just like so funny to me. So when she passed away, I saw an albino squirrel. I have never seen that before or since. Oh, look at the little foxy. That is so gorgeous. I have a sterling pendant similar to that than actually a fan of my channel made for me. It was like a wire wrapped thing she sent me. It was so sweet. That is cute. Super sparkly. Look at all the AB beads. We've got AB. We've got white AB in the middle. And then we've got like a magenta pink, purple, teal, another white or clear, whatever you want to call it. And then another pink down there. So adorable. Let's do $6 on this guy. If somebody wants him. Whoops. There we go. Gold tone. Great shape. All the rhinestones are there. That's so cute. Oh, oh, that's so sweet, Summers. Oh, you got him, Gail. Oh, he needs a name. He's cute. Oh, I love that. I love that. That's so sweet. What should I should I call him the sparkly fox? He kind of, you know, he kind of maybe a little bit looks like a squirrel. Just saying. Birch. J. Yeah. Okay. That is such a fun age. Three. I think around three is like one of my favorite ages. Even though my last one was a bit challenging at that age, but like, oh my gosh, he was fun. I love that age when they're starting to talk and like get their little personality. They crack me up. Oh, I'm gonna keep this one too. I like snakes, guys. I really do. We have a snake in my woods. So I named him One-Eyed Pete. Because <laughs> he's got one eye. One of them is kind of like, not scarred as such, but it looks like totally gray and foggy. And I'm pretty sure. It, maybe it is scarred over. I don't know, but he can't see out of it. Uh, the other one's totally fine. And he's a big black snake. And he was next to my house, and we heard the dog barking. That's so cool. <clears throat> we heard the dog barking. Luna, you know, the dog. In case you guys don't know, I have a Boston Terrier. Her name is Luna. She was outside barking, and I said, she's harassing the goose because she gets in fights with my goose. And uh, she just stands just far away enough from him that she can't be bit, and then she just barks at him and jumps around, and it's hilarious, actually. But in any case, so I was like, she's fighting that goose, and I went outside, and there's a big old black snake sitting in my herb garden that she was just barking at. I'm like this dog, I hope she doesn't get bit by like a copperhead or something because she's apparently not above challenging them. So, anywho, so I got in some gardening gloves and I picked it up. And at first he was fine, and then he bit me several times on the hand because <laughs> I loosened my grip too much. He didn't, I had gloves on, so it, you know, didn't do anything, but he was none too pleased. So I just released him. Oh, look, there's another one. <sighs> 
Oh no. Which one do I keep, you guys? All right, so this is this is the first one and this is the second one. Oh man. Okay, hold on. Let me look. I kind of like the second one. But I like the eyes on the first one. Darn it. I can't have two snakes. That's too many snakes. But I love the T. I love them both. Oh, okay. All right. I think I'm going to keep this. All right. We're going to sit them there while I think about it. I'm going to think about it. I'll keep one and I'll offer up the other one, but I just don't know which one. Ugh. Why? Why is this me? I'm so indecisive. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Does anybody have a preference? Would anybody else want a snake? And do you have a preference? Because maybe that'll help me decide if I want to let it go or not. I don't know, guys. Or do I just want to keep both of them? He looks so friendly and cute, though, doesn't he? I love teal. This is, like, my favorite color right there. That's a door. I know he's so cool. All right. I'll keep this guy. This guy is fun. Let's do a $1 start on him just in case anybody we will do $1 starting bid. And if you're the only one who wants them, you get a sweet deal. $1 start on the Mr. Snake. Cause I didn't know if there's a couple of people interested or not. He's got, um, he's gold tone. He's big. I'll, I didn't measure him. I'm sorry. He is uh, three and three quarters. There you go. Three and three quarters. He's almost, maybe he's a little closer to four inches. Any case. My Skywatch, welcome in. I haven't seen you in a minute either. All right, I'm going to pin him up here while y'all, you know, decide his fate. And I'm gonna open this other one. All right, I see Skywatch in at five, Summers in in at seven. And he's got, so he's got like a, good grief, this is heavy. Holy moly. Whoa, look at that. Oh, I gotta test this one. All right, so um, he's got dark blue. The only black, it's really dark on my camera. The only black is really his eyes. Let me get the, it's like a sapphire, his main body, the smaller rhinestones are like a sapphire blue. And then he's got accents of the bigger AB blue beads. And then there's a few, um, there's a few like sky topaz colored rhinestones on there too, on his back, a couple of square ones and a couple of marquee shaped ones. He's spectacular. All right, Skywatch is in at 10. Summers has high bid at 12. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate it. Wolfie, welcome in, Truth Warrior. How are you doing? Happy Sunday. Happy brunch. All right, Summers is at 12. We're going to say going once, going twice. Final warning couple seconds to catch up and we're just going to call it sold. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks ladies. He's, he's, he's pretty cool. He is pretty cool. Ooh, I just dropped something on the floor. My bad. Alrighty. Make sure I get it in the right bag. And here we go. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm just happy there's other ladies here who like snakes. <laughs> All right. This thing is, is heavy. Look at this. This is like, ooh, whoa, no wonder why there's two. All right. So we've got two Pandora style charm bracelets here. Are they stretchy? They're not stretchy. Okay. They're just like, they're metal. Good grief. These things are like you just be so surprised at how heavy they are. Uh, what's going on? Oh, it's got a chain. Okay, so we've got two beads that are chained together. That's cool. Different. We've got some rhinestones on it. And then on this one, 
This one's got glass. Let me see if I can get it. Glass lampwork beads on it. So how they do this, this is a tedious little thing here. I'm impressed with this one. It says 925 on it. You know, I think I'm going to keep this and test these beads and then offer them to my mother-in-law first because she collects these. And this one especially is very, very pretty. Or maybe I'll keep it for a, a stocking stuffer for her. But so basically what they do is they get a rod. You would put this little metal piece on the rod first. And then, or no, maybe you don't do that first. You don't do that first. Gosh, it's been so long since I've done this. But you have like a, a rod. And then, shoot, how do you do it? You got to cover the rod in like a, in some sort of something that's resistant to the... Um, to the glass and the heat. God, I can't remember now, but basically you just have to sit there twirling the rod constantly over the fire. As you gather, you have another rod of glass, you hold it over the flame in the middle and you're just constantly twisting it so that you're melting it and wrapping it around at the same time. If you stop, it'll just drip. And I have, I can't show you right now, but I've got beads showing what happens if you don't, if you don't keep twisting, but in any case. All right, I'm gonna hang on. Woo. I'm going to hang on to that one. Um, or maybe, hold on, let me take these. Wait, how do we take these off? All right, this raises a question. How do we get these things off? Oh, we've got one. Okay. And this says 925. Are these, is Nikki still here? I'm going to have to test this because this one says 925 on it too. Right there. See that stamp? Ugh. All right. Well, you can. Okay. That's 925. All right. We're going to, we're going to hang off on these and I'll figure those ones out later. Um, if you're interested, just shoot me an email and I'll, I'll keep you posted on, um, I'll keep you posted with those, how those turn out, but I'm just not going to do it on camera right now. I guess we could do it at the end of the show. Oops. I didn't test it. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, thank you for that. I, I'm going to test those beads too then, because if all those beads are on there, I mean the gold ones. Okay, this one says amethyst, seed, bead, necklace, platinum, and copper. Is this what I bought? I don't think so. I don't remember what I got originally. <laughs> really? Is this one of the ones? I honestly don't remember. Oh, this is, this is very, okay, here, let me show you before I open it. I don't own a lot of seed. I have one CB necklace from an old coworker that was from Nepal. And he was telling me, and maybe I'm mixing this up, but I think he gave it to me as a wedding gift because I think he said where he was from, I don't know if this is to like to all of Nepal or just his specific region, but you can only wear glass beads if you're married. So he gave me this beautiful beaded necklace as a wedding present. Unfortunately, I've never worn it because it's small and my neck is not small. That is pretty. It actually, it had some of these colors in it. This ha So these are actually ameth amethyst then. That's pretty. Oh, they are. They do look like it. I see some inclusions in there. Cool. So we've got glass seed beads and all those little ones are amethyst. Let me measure this one out. Let's, let's do 10 on this one, which like you could, you know, either keep it or repurpose it or throw your ruler on the floor. Hold on. Woo. But my hubby packed it and didn't leave it separated. I had to fuss it. <laughs> I don't, I don't even remember what I got. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't remember what I claimed at first. All right. So this one is 18, 18 inches. Look at it backlit. Look at the amethyst backlit. That's so pretty. Oh, that's cool. There's five strands of beads there too. You can't, seed beads especially black ones they're hard to get at least when i was trying to get them last they're hard to get very cool 
Um, and just wanted to say really quick while I'm thinking it in my mind, thank you guys for joining me today. I truly appreciate it. You all could be anywhere on the Sunday and you're here hanging out with me. So thank you for joining me, especially on this unannounced live. I know I typically like to go live on Sunday around this time, but usually I send an email or something. And I just, I dropped the ball on that just cause like I said, I've been so, so busy. I spent like five, six hours this past week cleaning my room, cleaning my bedroom. It like cleaning and organizing. It was a catastrophe. Look at Mr. Turtle. <laughs> He's cute. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you for hanging out with me while you do your work. I got some shipping to do too. I've sold a couple things on uh, eBay. Oh, it's marked. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, it's a Jerry pin. I know that guy. I know Jerry. Me and him go way back. This is also a pendant. It is just gold tone and this is acrylic. I don't know about the eyes though. Oh no, the eyes are have like an enamel around them. Hold on, let me see. He's got some pink around the eyes. Let's do four bucks on this guy. My little turtle. This looks like a imitation howlite, but like a dyed howlite. So we'll do four on Mr. Turtle. Let's set him there. All right, we're getting to the end here, y'all. We are getting to the end here, y'all. I'm very delighted with my little brooches, though. Oh, the 925 garnet ring. Is this what I got? <laughs> I don't remember. This is exciting. Dun, 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 dun. Did I get this one? I don't remember, but I'm going to try it on. Oh, please. It's got three stones. It seems like the type of thing I would buy. Garnet is my third kid's birthstone. Right, what size is it? Is it rhodolite? Okay, yeah, I totally got this. It's like I would not buy red garnet, but I would definitely buy a rhodolite. Look, that's pretty. Okay, all right. We're gonna wear it. We're gonna feel it out. We're gonna see if this one becomes a keeper. Um, I really like, like I said, I like garnet, but I don't like. I only like rhodolite. There's the side of it. This must be around a nine or so on the size. I'm not going to worry about measuring it since I'm going to wear it, but I think it's about a nine. Cool beans. Okay, here's another one. Also marked 95 black tourmaline and mix gem ring. This also sounds like something I would have bought. Let's see. Oh, stabby, stabby. Oh, let me move it. Let me move this out of the way so we can see Mr. Fish. So women around. He's right there in the middle. He's still scavenging. Okay. All right, here we go. This reminds me of Pretty Pretty Princess. Did anybody ever play that? Look at the under gallery. That's a quality one. Is this black spinel? No, you said it was black tourmaline. That's pretty. And mixed gems. So we've got some, there's a few white or clear gemstones down the side. So they could be a topaz, they could be a zircon or a CZ. Let me, let me pull it out of the bag so we can have a proper assessment. Look at that. Ooh, sorry, my bad. That metal work on the side is awesome. There we go. Little like florally kind of metal work. It is a triple split shank. This is giving me some deco vibes with that little pointy one in the center there. It's all black. Okay, let's see. Does it fit? Okay, it looks like it's a seven. That's gorgeous. I don't remember how much this was or really anything about it. I'm guessing it's a seven. Let me measure it. Let's see. I'm just looking at it up close to see if I can figure out what those stones are. This might be a rhodium over sterling. It looks awfully. Oh, it's a DeJoy. Those are probably um, 
CZs then. Okay, this one is. It's definitely an all. It's sterling. That's for sure. It's seven in a touch, but I'm gonna say it'd be. We'll call it a comfortable seven. On this one, we're gonna say twenty-five on this name brand ring. I'll show you the inside if you'd like to see it. Twenty-five size seven. See the little. There's like three little stones in the center that graduate, and then there's. You know, let me get the magnifying out, glass out too, just in case this thing helps at all. The dragonfly. And then on the like outside, how do I show this? On the outside ones, there's some more little gemstones on the outside pieces too. This is gorgeous. And it's got the finished under gallery. Woo, pull my mandrel apart. There we go. Okay, this is much better. I better not move. You've got your, where did it go? 925 De Joy in there. There's another shot of the uh, outside of the ring there. Gorgeous, that stands in great shape too. Awesome sauce. All right, cool. We'll set that guy there. All right, last bag. Last bag, 925 stone chip necklace, amethyst, and carnelian. And I can't read what the last thing says. Okay, what's the last one say? Oh, peridot and citrine. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. The quartz mix. Oh, thanks for coming in, Lexi. Thanks for hanging out with us. I will be back here, I hope, next Sunday. Uh, my husband's got his new schedule starting this week, so hopefully that all works out. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Is that sterling? That looks sterling. Oh, it did say 925, didn't it? Your writing is not bad. I got there. I got there eventually. Listen, I could show you some writing. I used to work in workers' comp, doctor's notes. Oh boy, it is not a stereotype. It is just true. <laughs> this is so stinking pretty. Look at all those stones. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to try this one on for myself, I think. Wow. That's gorgeous. I think I might have to look up how to price this one. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so the Peridot's there. We got some Roto Garnet. We got some... It's like white quartz, but it does have a, a, a hint of uh, like yellow in there. I don't know if those are citrine as such. They might be like a golden healer, which is like a, it's a hematoid quartz technically. So there's like little inclusions of iron oxide. It turns it, it kind of like stains it from the inside, a kind of goldeny color. And then we've got amethyst and then carnelian down there at the bottom. That is awesome. Thanks for coming in, Babette. I'm not going to be here too much longer myself because that was the last item in this bag. And I got a lot of stuff I got to do around my house. I am going to measure this one just, you know, for S's and G's. I mean, I'll probably, I don't know that I'll keep this for myself or not because it is gorgeous, but I don't know that I'll wear it. I just have a problem with, I'm trying to get this hook around it. I have a problem with the uh, keeping jewelry that I never actually wear. This one is, where's that ruler? 18 inches. That is a good size. This thing is nice and weighty too. And it's graduated. So let me get this guy off of my neck. It's since it's so light in the back and it looks like these are a little smaller than the chunks down here at the bottom, then that's not going to twist on you. This is a well like the weight on this necklace is distributed well, if that makes sense. That is so stinking pretty. I'm gonna say 30 on this, shooting from the hip. $30 on this multi gemstone necklace with the sterling bindings, that is awesome. So we'll do 30 and that'll be, that's the end. That's the end. I gotta clean up my space. I gotta clean up my house because I have a guest coming over this evening. And yeah, 
that's it. I'm going to invoice. If y'all bought something, I'll invoice immediately after I get uh, the stuff off my laptop. <laughs> the things I just opened. And then I'll send out an invoice. So um, that's going to be it for this one, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and Skeet. And uh, hit the thumbs up on your way out. I will be back here live on Sunday, I do believe. Hopefully I'll have a pre-recorded video before then for you for a sale of some sterling and stone items. And that's going to be it for this one. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. I really, truly do. Really, really, really do appreciate you guys. Have an awesome week. And I'll see you all in the chats. Bye, everybody. Let's be nice to each other.